survivors and welcome back to vulture mountain road it is day seven we are here in horde day really excited about this it's been a long time coming for this series and super excited just to kind of fight a horde with our humble little base over there in the background let us get things rolling here i do have a broken leg because i fell uh, obviously and we have a splint on it and everything else let's see if we have anything here that we need to kind of take a look at no all right so we are ready to go we have the broken leg i think we're going to take the bike with us only because we're clearly slowed down here with uh the broken leg and everything else and we probably should do some sort of looting uh, on the other side of town let's see what we have here um this whole map is opened up here for the most part and I think there's something we've, I think there's things we got to kind of hit over here. I don't think we've hit really much of that. We should take a look at that and see. I know we have that uh, Freddy Krueger house that needs to kind of be looked at as well. So we should probably take a ride over there. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's back up here. Pull in here. Right up there. Wow. Terrible driving job. All right. Anyway, let's head on over to that side. And when we find a POI that we want to hit up to loot, we will do so. And then, uh, we're not going to take another ride to the trader, not now, even though it's not too far away and we know that's not that far. I don't want to use the time up for that. Maybe just collect some resources. Uh, we'll show off the base a little bit before Horde Night and stuff like that. I definitely want to hit this place up here, though. The uh, Freddy Krueger house. Uh, generator schematic. That's going to come in super handy when it's time to make one of those bad boys. Love these pile of books. That's a neat little touch to uh, Alpha 19 for sure. Uh, picked up the machine gunner book. This is volume one, so 10% more damage with automatic weapons. This one here we already read. We'll hold on to that to eventually sell to a trader. Um, forgot that we already hit the downstairs of this place, so something we definitely have to consider is we're going to have to go back upstairs and see if we can't uh, finish off the rest of this place. Uh, I forgot we came in here, did the top, and then didn't do the rest. Ooh, what are we having trouble with here? Let's go have a plug right here. Let's open this up and see what we get. Ammo. Take that. And a rad remover. Nice. All right. Some seeds there. Another pile of books as we get near. Wrench schematic. Already know it. We'll break that up for the nitrate. Whatever else we get out of it. And let's take a look. Nothing in here. Should be some zombies in here. Oh, yeah. Big boy. What's up, buddy? So they made some changes in Alpha 19 again. They did like the patch point one and then like B8 before and then B8 um, now. And uh, they added in the, the new stripper, completely redesigned her, which she looks much better. I got to be honest with you there. Uh, and they added the, uh, the jiggly boobs. I don't know what that was all about or why that was necessary. Um, there are other things that this game really needs. To focus on and uh, they go ahead and add the jiggly boobs which cool i guess uh, i don't know how that acts the experience of this game or how it makes it better um don't really do anything for me i don't know i mean it wasn't something that i was looking for like i said there are other things that need to kind of address in this game if they're gonna work on it and fix it but hey listen you know what maybe that works for some people now this is where we fell through we came through here and originally fell through let's kind of go through here and loot this up a little bit um they also were supposedly fixing that uh uh starving tourist the hawaiian dude there and he was supposed to have like jiggly fat but i think they pulled it back out or something like that i'm not really sure and then uh there's some other changes made as well i think there was uh i don't remember if the new businessman came in this one or the one before it's it's hard to remember all of these updates that they throw at this it's just uh, at this point it's getting to the point where it's like you, you don't even now we're keeping the duster on for sure. And uh, you don't even know like what's what's what in these updates. It's just so many of them. Oh, I keep forgetting to put on my lucky looter goggles. Guys, you got to remember and remind me to do that. It's just insane. I keep forgetting that. All right, I think this place is done. This place is shot. Nothing upstairs, right? There's no upstairs in this? I don't think so. Or maybe there is. All right, it's going to do it for that house. We should do the one next door, possibly super early we got lots of time we can kind of take our time going through these places if we really want to 
Uh, it's probably something around the back of this place, I'm sure, to get in here for, for this POI. There's another door that looks like it should be locked. Uh, some more birds. These freaking birds. Of course, I don't have my thing on me. Uh, oh, I thought that worked on him. Die, sucker. Fucking infected, man. Jesus Christ, these birds. I'm terrible with them, too. I just can't get a good sh clean shot on them, and then they fly up, and I get them out of my sight, and then I just can't pick up where they are again. I should probably try to use the uh, the shadows, but jeez. Fucking terrible, man. Looks like this is the way up. We gotta kind of pull our way up here. Parkour way up here. I don't think jumping is very good for our leg. That looks like the time uh, on that went up a little bit. Let's make sure we're locked and loaded here. Before we go in here and get annihilated by uh, something stupid. Here comes uh, Creepy Creepers in here. As he creeps along. Or I should say Creepy Crawlerson. Maybe Creepy Crawlerson? I like that name for him. Look at that. We found some pee-pee water and we found another pee-pee in the toilet. The potty pistol. Absolutely love it. I don't know what it is. I mean, I could be on day like 130, but if I find a potty pistol, I mean, that toilet pistol is one of the most satisfying feelings in the world. I mean, dude, seriously, I can have a level 6 AK on my belt, but if I pick up one of these bad boys out of a toilet, for some reason, it just like completely... Like, it gets me every time. I don't know what it is. I just love finding the potty pistol. One of my favorite things in the game. And I'm disappointed that they're they're so super rare. But I guess that makes it even more satisfying at that point. I don't know what to say about it, really. But, oh, here comes uh, the janitor. Sit down. You're on fire. And you're dead. Looks like these guys uh, open up the... Oh, shit! I could have sworn I had that loaded. Oh, we got like a little bit of a wandering horde here. Uh, we got fucking problems now. Take her out. It's a good look at the uh, stripper there. Let's get some ground here. This is going to be a pretty bad fight here for a second. A little excitement before the Horde night, right? Oh my gosh. Run! Run, you stupid fucker. Stupid broken leg. My leg is still broken. This, this leg's never gonna fucking heal, man. With the, all this bullshit going on. Sit the fuck down. Piece of shit. Take your fucking head off. Oh, I thought you had killed her. Unless that was another one. Is that a second stripper? I could have sworn we killed her. Alright. Plus we got the biker. Whew. This poor broken leg of mine is never going to get fucking healed with this bullshit. This is unbelievable. I've been rolling around on this thing and it just gets worse and worse. Clearly they broke in. I don't know if there was a door. I think there was a door here. But clearly they just kind of broke their way right into this joint. And we're like, yep, that's what's going to be. Uh, I think this is the main loot too. So I don't think we have to go through the rest of this house. Uh, yeah, this is definitely the main loot. Probably goes down. There's probably more stuff downstairs. We could probably take a look at that if we want to. I don't see the harm in doing so. Let's check out this chest. Alright, some stuff in there. Working stiff. See if there's anything decent in here. Nah, anvil. Look at this. Chicken and the rabbit both got themselves caught up in the wood traps. And we got ourselves some free meat here, folks. We're going to take that. Cannot complain about that or even go wrong with that. That's amazing. Sorry, little bunny. I wouldn't have shot you, but you dead, so I'm cutting you up for your meat. A couple of zombies up there in the corner. 
We're going to get ourselves reloaded here. The potty pistol is not loaded. We're going to load that up and we're going to use that if we need to. And uh, let's go to it. There's two of them there. I'm sure there's more around the corner. Three. Oh, we got three. We get them all lined up. I should take down two of them. Take off her head. And they're all three down. Perfect. Lots of cobblestone down here. I'm happy about that. There's a plug there, too. I don't think I woke anybody else up. Nice ammo pile right there. Good thing we didn't let that pass up. There's a zombie beating on something somewhere, and I feel like it's close. Just don't know where uh I don't know where he is. Might be outside. Oh, there she is. Ooh. That took her down. Alright, two shots from the blunderbuss. She's down. Thankfully, she was annoying the shit out of me, making all that racket. Alright, so we finished looting that place. We have to go back to base and get some uh, antibiotics and get rid of this infection. We can't keep rolling around with this infection. Plus, this broken leg, if I don't... Like, I want this healed up before the Horde night, right? I'm going to try to go back to the base, do some light work, cleaning up, organizing, stuff like that. Uh, because otherwise, it's going to be a hell of a freaking Horde Night fight with this busted up leg. We're going to keep. A, we're going to take a quick look at the uh, the base and make sure that it's upgraded enough to the point where it's acceptable or whatever we need it to be uh, before that. It shouldn't be too bad. Day seven, you know, and uh, I'm at that high of a level, so it shouldn't be super horrible to deal with. But again, I just want to make sure all these little ailments here are kind of healed up in the process. Uh, I don't want to have to deal with this stuff in the Horde Night. Uh, and we're making this broken leg worse by running around and jumping on and getting hit by zombies uh, now. So we're going to kind of do some light stuff around here until Horde Night. I'll bring it in if I'm doing anything interesting or if I'm doing any more upgrades to the base to kind of show you where we're at and what it's going to look like. But I can't continue to sprint and run around on this thing uh, the way I have been. Otherwise, it's just going to, like I said, it's never going to get better. All right, so we made a few changes here to... Uh, the little horde base we got going on very very basic uh, They have this to kind of come up to us right there. We have an iron. We have iron bars right there in the front to Slow them down and we can kind of melee and shoot them if we have to upgrade all this the cobblestone should be more than enough We have a couple of hatches here as well on um, those hatches will keep To slow them down just in case they do get through here I'm also going to use this hatch as kind of a guide for myself this way. I don't get too close and they can wind up hitting me because even if they're here, they can swing and they'll hit me because the reach is just absolutely absurd. But, you know, it is what it is. So on the back side here, we do have the ladder so we can kind of jump up and get up here and they won't be able to get up uh, to us. I'm thinking about adding a door here. Actually, let's do that right now while we're just kind of sitting here. Uh, I'm waiting for Horde Night to start. I'm waiting for all my injuries to heal up as well. I'm going to put this door in here for the time being just as a kind of a backup for now. And maybe we'll throw an iron bar up here. Can we throw an iron bar up there? Can we? Yep, absolutely. Cool. So I mean, very very basic here. Like I said, we're gonna kind of stand back here. We're gonna we're gonna fight them. We'll have this hatch up. This way we don't get too close to them. They can't do too much damage. We're gonna go back and make sure we get everything loaded up, weapons wise, and everything that we need, and hopefully uh, get all our food and drink up as well. And get ready for the horde. We'll bring all the stuff that we need, all the weapons that we have, and get uh, get this show on the road. All right, folks. So we are here at our base. I've done a little bit more upgrading. Got all of my weapons that I'm going to use here down my belt. Two nine millimeter handguns, two blunderbusses. My wood club is a level two. Couldn't upgrade that any further, but I did put the spikes on it rather than the fire. Uh, mod and we have some pipe bombs here that we picked up from the the trader quests of a spear and I have my Drink and my medication just in case I need that and here comes the horde. This is it I'm gonna see which uh, doesn't really matter which direction they're coming in 
because we want them to the front right here. Come and get me, guys. All right, two down already. So I figured that the spike mod would be, or this barbed wire mod would be uh, better than the fire fire mod that we had on there, because it'll give the chance to bleed. Let me get a little bit of lag with all the zombies on the screen. We are set to 16 zombies. Oh, we got a loot bag already. Very nice. Uh, if we do well with this, we'll probably turn the the zombie spawning up a little bit. All right, we're going to blunderbuss it up here a little bit because we got to get our stamina back up. Let's reload, step back. So we're doing pretty good here. They're not being able to hit us, it looks like, uh, the way I have this set up, which is nice. Little power shots in there. Take off Big Mama's head. Let's reload this Wonder Bus while we're waiting. The stamina come back up again. Power shots. Oh, I thought that was reloaded. Now we're getting super hot here. This is crazy. I mean, I know it's the desert and all, but it's the middle of the night. Oh, they're hitting that pretty good, so let's upgrade that back up again. I don't know what kind of damage you're doing to that uh, those iron bars there. I'm not doing too much damage. I should have brought some uh, forged iron with me just in case I needed to upgrade that. But it doesn't look I need to. Alright, we leveled up there once. It's good. I think we're doing pretty good. I don't like the fact that they're getting up above, though. That's not good at all. Uh, we need to get this loaded up. Loot bag. Shoot her in the face. Oh, shoot. They got up here. That's bad. Holy shit balls! How did they get up there? Uh, definitely not high enough. We're going to have to make some changes. We gotta make a run for it. We got an abrasion. Holy crap. I didn't even realize that they were breaking through that back door. That was really bad on my part. I need to pay more attention to what's going on behind me. Clearly. Uh, fortunately, wasn't a lot of zombies, and uh, I did not panic that time. I shot my way out of there, which was good. That's what I got the handgun for, for just that situation. They keep trying to jump up top, though. We're going to definitely have to redesign a little bit here. You got a shot on me there. Uh, we got this other trap door, which kind of helps. Kind of traps us in here a little bit, but... I'm totally okay with that. Oh, no more stamina again? Let's try to thin out the herd here again. her fucking head off. Motherfuckers, piece of shits. Can't believe that. Holy crap, man. I, I thought we were, I mean, I, didn't, I know we weren't super safe, but I thought we were at least somewhat secure here. Um, you know, I don't want to upgrade that right now because I want to kind of take that door off. We're going to do a little bit of redesigning around here uh, without a doubt. I think we're, I think, they were, I think we're done. I think that's it. Wow, that got intense for a second. It was a little bit uh, stupid on my part. I knew they were piling up over here, and I feel like they came across at that point, and then they started beating on this door. And I thought they were hitting this because I had to repair that at one point. Um, back up to the to the iron. So, oh, here comes another one. Not quite all of them yet. Let's get some stuff upgraded here. 
Uh, open the hatch. Alright, so I hear some zombies beating on something, and I get a feeling they're beating on the walls of my base. Yeah. How the fuck did you get in there? You piece of shit. So she breached my base somewhere. I'm not exactly sure where that broke. I don't think she spawned in here because I do have my land claim block in there. So I'm not really sure how she got in, to be honest, unless she found a way to jump up on there. I'm going to have to take a really close look to see where she came in. I'm not even sure, to be honest with you. But we picked up the loot bags that we had there. I think we, I think you guys saw that. And then uh, I just need to kind of find where she came in. Um, this way we can kind of fortify this place a little bit better. I thought it was pretty solid, but I guess not. Maybe we'll have to make the wall a little bit higher. Um, or do something at least with this. Maybe just a, another layer above with some blocks and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I think that's going to kind of do it for this one. That should have been the last zombie right there, as far as I can tell. And uh, yeah, not sure what she was doing inside or how she got in there. And for her to spawn in there, I mean, it's possible. I don't know really what the land claim block. I wouldn't do that. I would spawn inside that area, but you never know. Um, this held up pretty well, to be honest with you. I mean, I think this is pretty good. We just got to do a little bit of tweaking so they can't get up and around us into that back door, which they clearly broke through, and I had no clue that they were doing that. Um, I kept hearing the hitting, and because I had upgraded this, like I said before, I thought it was that that they kept uh, breaking. Uh, and it wasn't until after they kind of hit me from behind that I realized it. But anyway, uh, base held up. We're going to do a slight redesign. We'll probably fill in all of these blocks here. I want to keep that kind of corridor going here. Uh, I'm going to make the steps a little bit easier for them to get up in the next one. This way they can uh, get to me a little bit easier and then maybe they're not so enticed to go around. But I'm also going to fix the, the back end of this as well. Um, where like I'll just put blocks all the way through here and around to the edges. Uh, I may knock some of this out and make the interior a little bit bigger, like right around here, so I have some room to kind of put maybe a crate in here or something to ha to hold on to extra material and the such. But I like the idea of this here, just in case we get birds. So, yeah, that should do it, though. Uh, I'm going to put a break in this one here. This will be a good spot to kind of end this off. Let me get my club out just in case. And I want to thank you guys for stopping by. Leave your comments below. Uh, leave a like for the video. always helps out. And I really appreciate the support we're getting in these series. I really appreciate you guys and everybody who's out there watching. Spread the word. Let your friends know. Whatever you got to do. Let's grow this channel. Uh, I'm super excited about the future of what we're going to do here. I am seeing the growth. And it's all because of you guys. That's why I'm here. And I have a lot of fun doing this. And I love sharing my love of Seven Days, seven days to Die with everybody who's out there that loves this game as well. Anyway, thank you again. I will see you around. And bye-bye now.